Hey guys, this is Heather from Cuz We Can Farms. In today's video, we milk a goat and do a bunch of clearing in the back and clean up so that we can get this shipping container tiny house build going. I hope you enjoy today's Hello, video. Goat I don't know the name to. I'm Sarah. I'll be your caretaker of the day. <laughs> First aid dinner. Everybody gets them. Here we go, Mama. Okay, so this morning we are milking Chiba. This is uh, my friend Carrie's goat. She dropped all three of hers off yesterday. Uh, we're just putting it in this bucket, which is non-sanitary, but it doesn't matter because we're going to feed it to our baby goats. Um, eventually we will be drinking her milk, um, but she's going to be drying up. So we're going to work on doing that and getting that done for her. So none of this is sanitary. Don't do it this way. <laughs> so this goat has not been hand milked a lot. Normally you would clean the udder. I'm just going to brush everything off of there. She also kicks, so we got to watch for that. Are you not giving me? There we go. Is much smaller teats. <laughs> this one's kept with my left hand. That's funny. This one turns. Good girl, Chiba. There's nothing like resting your poor head on a milking animal. Okay. So when you've got one that's going to be kicky, you want to just go one hand so you can get your bucket out of the way. Since she's decided to walk off here, and what I'm going to do is not let her walk off. Good girl. Good girl, Chica. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love milking a goat. Resting your head against their body and the warmth and just the whole aspect of it, them giving you their milk because it really is them giving you their milk because if they don't want you to get any, <laughs> you will not get any. Uh, so I'm going to grab some um, jars that I have in my shipping container and we are going to be feeding this to the baby goats. Um, we're mixing it with the powdered milk that I had purchased and um, we'll be getting them back on goat's milk. They have eight more weeks of milk, which they will slowly start eating more grains and some hay and, and the roughage and all of that. So. It'll go less and less um, as that time goes on. So this has kind of been a win-win situation. Um, Carrie's getting her animals cared for, and they are going to be staying up here all winter. 
Um, so they're going to help clear that garden area and get us um, moved ahead for that. Plus, it'll give uh, Allegra a little bit of a herd until she leaves. So, let me go into this shed and get my cans, my jars. It's scary in here. It's scary in here. <laughs> That baby. Hopefully the mice don't get it. This is still super sad, but we do have some that we may get. But look at the kale trying to take over the world. We got to get our cross fence up, and the deer did eat a chomp off of that. But we got pretty flowers there. just literally cannot get over how fast how big the flowers are on this one this is uh let's put you under there let's see <laughs> this is uh can we see can we see no Anyway, that's a bee steak one, so it's got giant flowers on it. And then the lettuce is doing well, and this guy's doing well. <laughs> but I don't see any little baby watermelons on this one yet. It had one, but a mouse got it. And whatever we planted here is doing well. No, ladies. When you visit people's houses, you don't eat their gardens. <laughs> and then some stuff over here is coming in. And these guys are doing really well. Look at the cucumbers. They're all doing really well. But the sweet peppers are starting to grow up. Got some secret flowers in this guy. So, yep, if we can finish our arbor, maybe the Deer will stay out. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What you doing? You getting stuff off the ceiling? Good morning, Pepper. You're so cute. We gotta put Pepper in with Lily. Make babies. What is going on with you two? That's not where you eat food from. We moved them into the cat cage. <laughs> I bought this uh, for my house cat, Picasso, that I used to have, who passed away at the ripe age of 12. And so 
being repurposed and it's actually working great. Come on, Allegra, come and get it. Come on, girly. Oh, I just felt so awful for her yesterday. She was chortling, looking for Gracie. Most of the afternoon. Come on, girly. Come get your snacks. Come on. There's the snacks. She's like, oh, there's more people up over here. We're all worried about you. Good morning. Good morning, honey. I can't move till you eat your snacks. No, I can't. Not till you eat your snacks. Oh, she knows the trick. Oh. Apparently, there was a dance party here last night. And then they couldn't get in the... <laughs> it literally goes around to the front of the garden. And then they turned around here. Is another dance party. Okay, so we've made a group decision that we're going to breed the rabbits. That, the reason is because they're pregnant for 30 days. And then we have about a 10-week grow out before processing. So that'll give us... Um, some meat for the winter and we will have to feed hay and grain because we'll it'll be October November time frame but we're gonna go ahead and breed both of them and then we just have to focus on getting grow out pins set up before we actually need them <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and get this breeding done really quick and then we're gonna move on to some other things Hi, pretty girly. Did you get all the snacks? You're so sweet. You are just so sweet. Come here. Come. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Need a drink of water first? <laughs> you can stay there, Pepper. Right there. Hey, oh my gosh, you're so friendly now. Done. She's never been bred before, so she doesn't know to present. Let's all go down to the pool and get a drink. Let's go down to the pool and get a drink. If you're happy and you know it, quack, quack. <laughs> there we go. We got one guy. If you're happy and you know it, quack, quack. <laughs> kind of. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, quack, quack. Janet, stand up, get a drink. Okay, good question. Yeah? Yeah. Touch it. Yeah, I touch it. All right. Oh, yeah, it's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs>
more bananas. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now is we're just raking all of this over, kind of smoothing it out, getting rid of um, limbs and roots and stuff that are, you know, laying out and kind of in the way that we've been tripping over for the last month. And you just get stunk? Yeah, bit by an ant. Oh, okay. Um, and cleaning out the holes so that we can put a cement base in there and uh, get ready to cover these holes up so that we can get the shipping container moved in. We have a complete different way that we're going to try and do the shipping container, uh, leveling it out um, and these piers because I do not have the money for a crane, which is what we would need if we put the piers in first to lift it up and set it on those piers. So we're, we're doing this in a different manner. I don't know if it'll work. We'll see. Follow along and you'll be able to see too whether it works or it's an epic fail. Uh, Right now we're just absolutely covered in dust and hot and exhausted and the smoke is really bad, 
but uh, we're really excited about how it looks and it's cleaning up and it's looking like a park and I just absolutely love it. And um, showers are gonna be amazing tonight. <laughs> Okay, so if you see us in Walmart, please just be kind because we are going in like this. <laughs> Remember that we're funny. <laughs> okay, so the tea did not work, but our leftover chicken legs last night are working. So we dusted that with the borax. Sorry about the generator in the background, but look at that. Those, my friends, are spicy sky raisins. So we're giving fresh water to the ducks because we like it and it's fun. And we think this one right here is our Janet. Oh, now I don't know which one it is. <laughs> no, it's not that one. That one's got the wonky back. I think it's this one right there. Still got a little bit of a limp, little limpy, little trippy. Watermelon update. Look at that sucker. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play for. Remember, if you like our videos and you want to help our channel out, to subscribe, like, comment, and make sure you share with your friends.